Howdy, y'all. I'm happy to be here. Um, I just got out of the shower. My hair is still wet. Oh, I'm so fresh and clean. Um, I am excited to get into some Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight. It's gonna be great. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just as popular as Pokemon Emerald. Any blind poll will tell you that, I'm sure. But I'm excited, baby. This is gonna be awesome. If you recall, last time we were uh, we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel is our full title here. Um, hey, let's go, Mom. How are you? Good to see you. Um, if you recall, last time we actually fought our first ghoul, um, which was super sick. Um, we were able to defeat them. We were able to get a, a rare pack of cards, which is good. Um, I'm hoping that we can win a few duels tonight because I really, really, uh, nothing really here for us. Um, I really, really, really want to get either the Blue Eyes White Dragon or the Raigeki. Um, oh yes, the sprites are really cool in this. Like the character sprites specifically, like when you talk to them, I actually really like, like these right here. Um, hopefully we don't actually fight Kaiba. Let's, there we go. So here's Mokuba, he's saving us from his big brother. Um, I've talked about this a lot, how if they're in the same little spot, if you try to challenge one, the other will challenge you instead. And still on my mind is that loss that we had um, to Mokuba because of the freaking Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and I hope we don't see it again. Um, but, folks, thank you for being here tonight. I'm really excited to play this for you. Um, I've been sticking mostly to Emerald lately, but I do, you know, still want to get a couple of these every now and then. Um, I'll go ahead and use Change of Heart here. And we're going to take Cayman there. And we'll get rid of it, of course. Yeah, baby. I'm even going to play my field magic card, Yami, and that powers up my Dark Magician. Um, <laughs> in the anime, Yugi had the Book of Secret Arts that he would put on his Dark Magician. And that's not a very good card for us to use, but it was sick in the anime. Uh, and the field magic card helps us out here. Um, I might end up getting rid of it at some point because... The deck that you get to start the game is pretty, um, uh, we'll just get rid of those. It's pretty, like, specific to the Dark Magician and has some very specific strategies kind of built in with it. Um, but as we kind of get more powerful cards, the deck will probably work less synergistically. Um, but will be stronger, um, just because I'll have way better cards. Because using strategies like that can be really good, um, when you don't have all of those really powerful cards at your disposal. Um, but once we do get those choice, those choice cards that we want, we won't have to rely on that as much. And I keep doing it, but I'm going to keep getting the Dark Magician, because according to my cheat sheet, the Dark Magician pack holds both the Raigeki and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's what we're looking for. And we got Beast Nakarama. Beast Fangs. This is very similar to, like, the Book of Secret Arts that we were talking about. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to fight Weevil. Because I'm tired of fighting Kaiba or Mokuba. Even though Kaiba is actually named Seto, they always call him Kaiba in the show, so that's what I always call him. Um, let's see. Let's get a pot of greed going. Ugh, such a lovely card. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, mechanical Chaser. You know what? 
Whenever Weevil plays a face down card, I'm always very scared. But uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Nice! Paid off, baby. But I hope everyone had a really nice. Ah! I have my Magic Jammer, baby! Love it! I'm just gonna tell with that Shogun. Um, I hope. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I hope everyone had a good Monday. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. Things keep happening. Um, mine was good. I uh, actually had a lot of doctor's appointments today, um, which was fine. But uh, I don't love having a bunch of doctor's appointments. It's not like my favorite thing to ever happen. But I don't mind it. It's good to get those things out of the way when you can. Um, I actually have another one tomorrow. All right, there we go. No idea what this is. If it's just a regular old man-eater bug. Okay, that works just fine. Um, but everything's good. It was just like eye doctor and dentist. Just checkup kind of stuff. Um, I'll keep Summon Skull back in case he has a man-eater bug and wants to kill my Summon Skull. That's why I didn't play it. That's why I didn't play it, gang. <laughs> and I feel like I've talked about this a lot, a lot of times. You're just gonna have to deal with, like some man-eater bugs here and there if you just want to get if you want to get the duel rolling you know and you want to get this show on the road or else it'll take forever you could be afraid of every man-eater bug that they have but uh oh i do have dispel dispel can come in handy it's a little bit more situational but this is a situation where it rocks um, but yeah, I hope everyone had a good Monday. I realize that not everybody has the luxury of not working in the summer, so, um, for those of you that work today, I salute you. Hopefully, uh, you can unwind with some video games with me. That's really one of my goals here, you know? Just trying to bring the good vibes. Get rid of the old Dunamis. Um, I also realized that I was avoiding playing my Summon Skull earlier, but I was brave enough this time. <laughs> Weevil can get some really good combos. He has a really strong card called the Insect Queen. Um, and if you've ever seen the anime, you know the Insect Queen is uh, really strong. In the anime... Weevil fights Joey, and he has a really strong combo with the Insect Queen, like, laying eggs and, like, defending his side of the field, and Joey just, like, can't attack. It's really, really powerful. Ugh, guys. Guys. We are just striking out with the Magician here. Alright. I'm trying to get some... I want to try to get some quick duels with Mokuba here, um, so we can farm him for packs basically um it is also so funny because at the start of this i was just like i'm not gonna fight mokuba that much and look at me now here i am abusing the system because he just did like over a thousand points of damage to himself it's too easy with this guy you know what i'm talking about um other than that one time. And even though Mystical Elf will definitely get destroyed next turn, it is not likely to matter. Not likely, I say. But even at this point, he doesn't really have the life points um, to run Cyberstein, I don't think. There we go. I don't quite have enough firepower here to destroy him yet but i will shortly and he has so few like magic or trap cards also i feel like he has like a raigeki um that he can use sometimes 
Um, there we go. All right, I think I'm gonna go with a different pack because the blue eyes is just, just killing me. Um, I'm actually gonna go with the launcher spider here because there is one really strong trap card that we can get. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, that's not it, but let's see what that does actually. Um, Labyrinth Tank, I always thought this was a cool card as a kid. Um, let's see, Robin Goblin, I forget what this does. Each time one of your monsters inflicts damage to your opponent's life points, one card is randomly selected from your opponent's hand and discarded to the graveyard. It's not too terrible, I'm probably not going to use that, but... I could if I wanted to. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get us a little bit of a wider pool here. Ah, we can do a championship. I actually like this. Um, because I know that we can get a couple strong cards from the um, two out of three tournament that they hold on Saturdays. And we're fighting Rex Raptor. We should be able to we should be able to take care of him best two out of three, I would say. I would hope that we could take care of him best two out of two. You know. Meaning he ain't that good, honey. He ain't that good. Do, 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 do. Classic. One of my favorite things. Um, but you know, folks, if you're watching this later, um, comment if. Comment how long you played the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, if you played it at all. I know that there's some um, overlap between the Pokemon crowd and the Yu-Gi-Oh! crowd. I obviously am an example of that. But uh, I really stopped after, like, the classic era. I think the, the last... I want to say the last um, set that I ever opened packs of would have been, like, Dark Crisis, um, which is kind of like right at the tail end of the classic era, like the Dark Crisis, um, Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos. Those are kind of like the last sets. I, I don't remember what order they were in. Um, but I was I was super into it in the classic area, era, obviously. Um, I opened a ton of Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, I can negate attack. Um, Labyrinth of Nightmare, I love. Pharaoh's Servant, that's where you can find my favorite card. Um, let's see, let's just go all out offensive here. Oh, uh, having this mechanical chaser in our deck is great. I'm so glad we already pulled that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I stopped uh, playing around that time. I also stopped watching the anime. I still have never seen the end of the Battle City arc. I've seen most of it, um, but I've never seen the end, which is crazy. I'm pretty sure they beat the bad guy, would be my assumption. Um, the episode where Yugi defeats one of the ghouls that has Slifer the Sky Dragon... It's a handful of episodes. That is great. Um, the little arc where they fight Loomis and Umbra is also really good. That that was... They were the ghoul that we fought last time, actually. Um, I'm going to put you in defense mode. Yeah, those are some of my faves. I really like how Loomis and Umbra have, like, the mask cards. I thought that was sick. Um... And a lot of the cards that they had were from the Labyrinth of Nightmare set, which um, I opened a lot. And I mean, that is the sick thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Like, um, you play this card game in real life, and it is it wasn't like Pokemon or whatever other anime where it's like, okay, um, it's cool that they get to be magical ninjas or... They get to train Pokemon, but I'm just a regular old kid. 
But Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, they had like the cool hologram stuff, but we were playing the same game, man. It was, it, you felt like you were one of the characters when you were dueling. It was so fun. Gosh. Um, I, uh, I, I, I mean, I know the TCG still exists, but, uh, oops, did not mean to do that. But I know, I know it's way, he he he, way more complicated. And you know what? At this point, I have too many other uh, hobbies and things I want to do. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could get really into Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Even with its way more popular, uh, not popular, way more uh, complicated system. Du -du 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 no. There we go. Um, having this second Dunamis Dark Witch is also really good. Um, eventually, we're probably going to pull a third one. Um, and I mean, you can never really have too many uh, 1800 attack monsters in your deck. I mean, you can literally have too many, but it's always nice to stockpile them. Um, and getting those from the Duelist Weekly is just a really good um, way to get some good monster cards when you need them. Um, and this should do the trick. I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure this will do it. Yes. There we go. And that's Rex Raptor. Okay, so it looks like from the Saturday Tournament Packs, we are looking for two cards. We are looking for either the Beast of Guilfer or La Jin, the Magical Genie of the Lamp. Both would be very nice. So let's see if we can get it. Beast of Guilfer, baby! That is really great. Um, this is a really nice... Uh, one tribute monster, that 2200 attack. It's got some sick artwork. When this card is sent to the graveyard, it can be treated as an equipped magic card and can be used to equip one monster on the field. The attack of a monster equipped with this card decreases by 500 points, so you can put it on one of your opponent's monsters, so that's what makes it so good. That, and it's a 2200 attack, one tribute monster. Real good card. That'll go in the deck. Um, lovely. That is good, so I'm gonna add that right now. Um, let's filter our effect monsters. That's number one, babe. All right. I probably want to take something out of our deck here. Um, might be the Total Defense Shogun. I I enjoy the Total Defense Shogun, but you know. Um, yeah. I'll put him in the side deck for now. So here's our side deck. It has some of those cards that I like, um, but aren't necessarily going to be using long term. And eventually I'll actually have some cards that we might realistically use in here. Um, but for now, we're sitting pretty. Getting the Beast of Gilfer is a really nice level up. I'm actually going to erase that. Great. Oh, we can get a nice fight in with Mai. I remember we Mai was one of our first duels. There we go. Mai's great. Mai is such a good character. She's very much like your classic frenemy. She doesn't want to be friends with anybody because it's every person for herself, and she had a hard pass, so she just... Don't doesn't want to be friends, but all the main characters are just like, but the power of friendship, and Mai's like, no, and then eventually she becomes their friend, and it's and it's nice. Love Mai. Uh, let's see. Ba -da -da. I'm not sure what to start with here. Um. I'm just gonna send out the seven colored fish. I know that she has a card called Cyber Harpy um, that has 1800 attack, but I don't. Yeah, there it goes. How about that? Um, sure. We'll use the spellbinding circle on you. 
I wish it destroyed it, but at least it can attack us now. Ah, lovely. And now we can use the greatest combo in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. There we go. So now, what's great about our boy Beast of Gilfer, like I explained earlier, is if our boy gets destroyed, um, we can equip it onto one of her monsters and weaken it, so hopefully we can kind of get our revenge that way. Um, my classically had a really cool trap card called Mirror Wall. Um, I don't know if that's what she has here. Okay, I didn't trigger it, so that's good. Um, it could also be Mirror Force. Mirror Force will destroy all of the, uh, monsters in attack mode on the attacker's side of the field, which is unreasonably harsh. <laughs> Um, but Mirror Wall, I believe it just weakens the attack of the attacking monster, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that was a big anime card for her. I remember in, like, the first arc, um, she used the card Mirror Wall against Yugi. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. She is ending her phase. Um, I'm just gonna use Graceful Charity. And then I'm going to send you to the graveyard. And send me to the graveyard. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can knock her out now. This might be foolish of me, because that might be a mirror force that she just hasn't played yet. But we're gonna see. We're gonna go for the knockout blow, kids. All right, it's looking like she just doesn't have anything left to play. And that Graceful Charity Monster Reborn combo, as you can see, is very strong, because I can basically get my Buster Blader out for free. Um... I really jacked up the power in my deck. Losing makes it all meaningless. See, Maya's kind of edgy when you first meet her. Ooh. This Millennium Puzzle Pack. I don't remember what this pack has, but let's open it. Ooh, some interesting stuff. Ah, uh, this is actually something that Mai will use. Um, Cyber Harpy is like Harpy Lady. She has, like, all of these, like, harpies because she's supposed to be, like, a sexy siren character. Mai is, like, unreasonably hot. She's that archetype of anime character. Um, let's see... Bell of Destruction, this is interesting. Destroy one face-up monster and inflict direct damage equal to the destroyed card's attack to the life points of both you and your opponent. So this can be risky, but like, let's say you got that blue eyes white dragon out and you can do 3,000 points of damage um, to your opponent's life points as long as you have enough. That could be really good. Let's see, flip all your opponent's face down cards. That's whatever. Negate attack would be very nice if we did not have it already. Um, so that was still good, but again, not quite what we're looking for, kids. Not quite what we're looking for. Um, it is great that we were able to pick up Beast of Guild for today. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to poo-poo that. Ha. Ah. Um. Here we have Esperoba, another classic. Um, Joey had a classic duel with him in the anime. Esperoba had my favorite, gosh dang it, with the freaking Raigeki. Um, <laughs> and that monster's not even strong enough to use Trap Hole on. Um, Esperoba actually had my favorite card. I'm, I don't want to give it away what my favorite card is until we're able to get it. Um, even though I've probably said it on a previous stream, so if you really f feel like you want to dig in, you probably could. Oh my gosh, guys. We are just not getting the draw. Ooh. That's fine. So that, that just means that we can't 
put a card in, uh, face down anymore. Which is whatever. Um, no, we good. I'll just send these both back to his hand. Alright, now I just really need... Yes, that is exactly what I needed. <laughs> I was like, I need a card I can play. And here we go. thing with my mechanical chaser there is since he summoned it with Monster Reborn, um, I actually couldn't destroy it with my trap hole. He has to play it, like, properly for me to do that. But luckily for me, I've been saving the dark hole here in case something bad happens. So I'll just go ahead and destroy both of those. And we have a turn. We can buy ourselves a turn with Negate Attack, even though I'm going to save it because Science Soldier is... Just 800 points of damage, that's not going to do too, too terribly much to us. Um, guys, we are getting screwed on the draw here. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Okay. One card that I would love to get. Um, one of the strongest cards in the game. I'm going to hold off again, just in case I don't draw anything good. Um, one of the strongest cards of the game... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, ...is actually called Harpy's Feather Duster. Um, and it functions much like a Raigeki, but instead of destroying all the monsters on the field, it destroys all of the magic and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. Okay, thank the lord. Um, I probably could have destroyed one of those monsters. Definitely could have, actually. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna use that trap hole, baby. Let's go! Goodbye. Um, Launcher Spider, that is actually the pack that we opened earlier. Uh, let's get Beast of Gilfer out of here. Don't know what that trap card is, but I'm gonna risk it, because I do have the Seven Tools of the Bandit sitting there. Um, as long as I have a thousand life points to pay, I can negate one of his trap cards. You've got to be kidding me. I'd love to see that mystical space typhoon right about now. Alright. Ah, uh, Curse of Dragon. This is a classic Yugi card. I do. And even though 2000 attack is good, it won't be able to get above my giant soldier. And when the Swords of Revealing Light is up like that, it doesn't really even give you the option to attack. Alright, we're gonna get rid of Buster Blader, and we're not likely to be able to play the Magician of Black Chaos. We are in a real unnecessary dogfight with our boy. Um, Esperoba here. Okay. You'll destroy Curse of Dragon. You'll destroy that. And you'll destroy that. Alright, I think we're on our way. We had a truly, truly brutal draw Yeah, we could. Um, there are a lot of zombie monsters. That card was, I think, three-legged zombie or something like that. Uh, there are a lot of zombie cards that actually have zero defense. I don't know why exactly. Um, there we go. 
And then we can finally end this. Goodbye, sir. Um, and that was another big anime episode. Yugi fought this guy who only uses zombie cards, and he was really creepy. Um, but it was in the first season, so they used some really bullcrap made-up rules. <laughs> um, Alright, so now... You know what? Since we defeated Mai, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Harpy Lady pack. Um, here we're looking for the card Magician of Faith. That would be great. Ooh, Harpy Lady Sisters. That's interesting. Um, this works in... Uh, you can only special summon that card with the magic card Elegant Egotist. Um, and that was big my thing, and it was a great way for her to summon a lot of monsters onto the field at the same time. Um, uh, let's see. Ah! Yakuten no Megami. I remember I could not pronounce that as a kid. Just a pretty little elf lady. <laughs> All right. All right, I feel like we got a few more in us. We've defeated Joey, and I think I think we have um, avenged all of our losses at this point. I'm gonna try to fight Yugi. Um, and sometimes Yugi will change into his like regular little boy form, because the character of Yugi is actually like a tiny little guy. Um, but the character we just saw is like his Pharaoh form, where like where like you know the the ghost of the Pharaoh just so happens to possess his body. You know, it happens when he duels. It's not a big deal. Um, all right, not a good start, but we got some traps. I'm gonna go ahead and play that Spellbinding Circle, man. So it cannot attack us directly. Would be good. You know, I'll go ahead and play the Dark Hole. I'm pulling out all the stops here. And I'll attack him directly. I'm sure this won't blow up in my face when he plays a Vorse Raider or another Gemini Elf this turn. Oh, <laughs> same, same difference. <laughs> uh, I forget. Is this the Trap Card one? Yes, this one negates all trap cards. Um, no big deal. Great. All right. I don't want to play that just yet because we are probably going to need to play a trap card at some point soon. And we don't have anything to play, so now we're just going to take a million points of damage. And you know, sometimes, sometimes you just don't get the draw, and you have a you have a trouncing on your hands. That's really all there is to it. Um, Fairy of the Fountain, you are Aqua, not a spellcaster. But I think that would actually make yes, you are a spellcaster. Yami would actually make Gemini L stronger, so that's not what we'll, <laughs> not what we want to see. Um. If this is bad for us, we'll... Yes, we will use Royal Decree now. So that way it does nothing. Great. But yeah, of course, her Gem his Gemini Elf is still going to be able to defeat our Fairy of the Fountain. I just wanted to try to get something destroyed. Um... I don't know if I have anything stronger than his gem than his Gemini Elf in either of our graveyards. No. Monster Reborn. Ah, but I can do this. I can play Monster Reborn and just snag something out of the graveyard, whatever. And then I can summon summon the skull. Not quite as tasty as the change of heart combo, because I have to burn my precious uh, Monster Reborn, but I was really backed into a corner here, so let's see what happens now. Uh, 
Not stoked to see swords revealing light. I feel like we have been having a really hard time withdrawing some of these uh, two tribute cards. Um, I might take one of these out of, like, I might end up taking the Dark Magician out of our deck. Um, because honestly, the Dark Magician, two tributes for 2,500 attack isn't amazing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, is that... Okay, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I'm still alive. Um... We'll see, though. Right, luckily, he cannot destroy us yet. Um, this could be nice. If we can get another giant soldier out on the field, or just another giant rat. Just make sure that gets dead. We're holding on. We're holding on for dear life here, gang. Oh no. I actually, and now it kind of puts me in a tough spot because I can't summon my giant soldier to the field because I have so little option against um, the rest of his monsters. With only 200 life points to work with, that's not, uh, that is not a lot when you're supposed to start with 8,000. You got it. Oh, great. He didn't have anything to play. I like that. I love that. The only issue is... Well, hey. If he's got a Vorse Raider or a Gemini Elf, it's only going to do 100 life points. So let's see what he's got. Um, oh, ah, oh, you made it. What's up, Brody? This is glorious. Mmm, I was just talking about it. And you know what? I'm going to let Dark Magician do the honors. I was just talking about it. Oh, baby. What a comeback. I was down to my last card, man. Mm. The heart of the car has really guided me on that one. Brody, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Ah, that was a really nice match. Um, okay, guys. I got the heart of the cards in the duel. So I'm hoping I get the heart of the cards in the pack, and I'm gonna go for Raigeki again. Let's do it. Come on. Didn't get Raigeki, but we got blue eyes, baby. That is really good. Oh, and it's the good art. Mmm. Wow, that is the starter deck Kaiba art. That is so good. I love it. It fills my heart with joy. Um, Blue Eyes White Dragon is one of the strongest cards in the game. 3,000 attack. It's two tributes, but for 3,000, that's really worth it. Um, we are definitely adding that to the deck. Um, and something else that does, I've learned. Hold on, I didn't know what I was doing there for a second. Um, that is wonderful. Something else that I have learned is that once you get the Blue Eyes White Dragon card, um, it actually unlocks a Blue Eyes White Dragon pack, which is nice. Um, I'm actually going to send the old Dark Magician to the side deck. Oh, it's because I have two of them. I forgot I had still had two of them. That's fine. Um... Blue Eyes is the only card you know, or the Dark Magician is the only card you know? Because they are like the two iconic, iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, baby. Um, <laughs> that's so great that you uh, tuned in just in time for us to get the Blue Eyes. That's amazing. Um, so after we beat Mako here, hopefully we beat Mako, um, we can... Blue Eyes? You stopped at the right time, my friend. Thank you for being here. Mm. All right. So already, 
things aren't looking great with Mako here because he has Umi up. And I saw that he played a face down card. Oh, it's just Torrential Tribute. Okay. Um, Mako actually has a really cool, um, whatchamacallit, trap card called Tornado Wall that makes it so that he cannot be attacked when Umi is on the field. Um, his deck works really synergistically with that card, honestly. And here we have Mechanical Chaser, which is great, but it's going to lose attack power in the water. <laughs> yes, I love that, Brody. Um, how was your day, Brody? Good? Um, Alright, he is at 2,000. Something I can do is I can use Monster Reborn, maybe, to get Dark Magician Girl out on the field, or I can just get my own, uh, my own Seven Colored Fish. I'll do that. Ah! Uh, let's wait. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it now. Um, this is kind of a weird play, but I'm gonna play my Mechanical Chaser, even though it gets weakened. I'm gonna use my Seven Color Fish to destroy his. Um, the Mechanical Chaser doesn't die in the water, it just loses 200 attack points. Um, which is not great, but I was able to do some direct damage to his life points there. Um, and even with 200 less, 1650 is, not, uh, is nothing to sneeze at when it comes to a four-star monster's attack. Hopefully this still kills this. Ah, classic. Send those back to my hand. And then... All right, so he's going to get a free shot at me, which I don't enjoy. Ah, the enchanting mermaid. Not very enchanting for me. Let's see. I do have a card called D-Spell uh, that I talked about earlier. Um, that would be great to get rid of his Umi. Um, <laughs> yes. When electronics touch water, I, they do die or go to sleep. You're very correct about that. Um, in real life, that is absolutely true. Don't let your technology touch the water. Um, but in our fun, magical, mystical card game, luckily, they don't fully die. Um, let's get Giant Rat out here. There's Tornado Wall. I brought it into existence. As long as Umi remains face up on the field, any damage this monster takes is reduced to zero. So we can attack. Hold on, let me let me test this actually. <laughs> Just put a fork in your toaster. Yep, that's the same. It's uh, that's totally safe. No, it's not. Don't do that. Um, does this mean my attack goes to zero? No. Okay, so that's cool. I can still destroy that monster. Um, it just wouldn't do any damage if it would have. So, like, right here, Giant Rat's gonna try to do a direct attack, but it does zero damage because he's got his Tornado Wall up. Which is pretty annoying. But, it is a good combo for him. It is really nice that we can still destroy his monsters, though. Okay, let's, uh... See what we can do here. Yes, that was a great draw. Because mm, I'll discard the magician girl. Uh, no, but we do have our wonderful mystical space typhoon here, and we can use that to destroy Umi, and now that destroys his tornado wall as well. So that rocks my butt off. Um, and now our Mechanical Chaser has his full complement of attack points. Um, so, in short, we're killing it right now. Boom, baby. Um, I was pretty happy to show off the Mako Tornado Wall strat that he's got going. Um, my guess is that that is a Torrential Tribute, so I'm not going to try to play any monsters right now because that would destroy all of mine. Love it. 
uh, because Mako loves his Torrential Tribute, and you can activate that whenever a monster is summoned. Um, and it will just wipe out all the monsters on the field. It's a lot like a trap card version of Dark Hole. Um, all right, there's Umi again. I do still have... Ooh, I can do this. I can play my Yami, baby. There we go. And that will discard his Umi. So I think with that, we win. Sure do. Love to see it. Love to see it. Hmm. All right, so now, since we have the Blue-Eyes White Dragon card, we uh, unlock this Blue-Eyes White Dragon pack. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if anything particularly good is in it, but we're going to open it. Um, nothing good here. <laughs> we have the 13th Grave, which is a regular old card. Uh, this is interesting. All Dragon-type monsters on the field are switched to defense position. Um... That is a good defense measure against, like, dragon-heavy decks. Unfortunately, that's just not something we're probably going to encounter a ton. Um, so let's see. Excuse me. Um, we have a few people that we have not fought today. Let's give Taya a try. Um, I would love to get another duel, uh, another ghoul duel ghoul duel in today but i don't know if we're gonna be able to let me see um we'll play my dark witch baby dare you to play something stronger than my dark witch other than dark hall what wait i got my magic jammer there we go there we go baby i'll get real royal decree that is excellente you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, I feel like Taya is kind of is considered one of Ah uh, crap. Um, I forgot that she sometimes has a giant soldier. Um, Taya is considered one of the lesser opponents in this game, but every now and then she can just get some some good some good combos going, man. Um that's actually not terrible. We can bring out our other giant rat. Oh yeah, we'll be able to we'll be able to get some nice chunk damage here. There we go. Because Marie the Fallen One can be tricky, because it she will gain life points every turn. Marie is in the graveyard, but that is a really nice chunk of his. <laughs> Crap is a no-no word. Hey, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, let's see. All right, we got our giant soldier out, which is great. Um, I'm loving that my Dunamis Dark Witch can really get up above um, all of her four-star monsters because that is making this easy as pie thus far. But Brody, how are you doing today? I think I've asked you a couple times. <laughs> you don't have to answer, I guess. It's fine. I feel like I say that with all my kids, with my kids all the time um, at school. Because, you know, some, sometimes... Uh, you know, some of my, my my kids deal with behaviors. That's kind of the whole deal. And sometimes I'll just be like, "Hey, what's uh, how you doing? What's going on?" And they'll just be like, "I don't, I don't have to tell you that." And I'm just like, "It's okay. You don't have to." <laughs> I was just asking to be nice. Um, but, uh, there we go. Sweet victory. Oh, wow, you... Brody, I actually didn't know that for you, Brody. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. Um, where are you located? If it's if it's there, you must be... You must be across the ocean? Right? Yeah. In Europe somewhere? 
Let's see. What do I want to grab? I want to see if we can get that mirror force. Ah, tremendous. Scotland! Huh. I was, I was right. Um, very cool. I didn't know that, Brody. Um, thanks for tuning in. Sorry. Uh, thanks for tuning in so late, I should say. Um, so this is kind of cool. You can inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent's life points and 500 points to yourself. So again, it's kind of like that Bell of Destruction card. It's a cool, like, little risk-reward proposition. Um... But let's see. I'm going to see if we can... Let's fight Truesdale here, and I'm going to see if we can pull maybe one more really good card from a pack. Um, but Brady, I never knew you from Scotland. That's super cool. Um, I've only ever been out of the United States a handful of times. Um, the only time I ever came over to Europe was... Um, I went to London many, many moons ago. Um, and that was really cool. But I'd like to go to Scotland, too. I hear it's wonderful. Um, here. I don't really know what he's got over there, so I'm just gonna let this play out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Cause those... Those there trap cards are probably pretty good. I know Truesdale has a couple good trap cards. I think he's got a trap hole. I think he might have a mirror force, but Royal Decree is actually really nice. Um, so we can... Uh, I'll just play Rocket Warrior for now, actually. Aha! Ah! This is supposed to work! What the heck? Uh... It happens sometimes. This game can be a little buggy every now and then. There are a few cards that just kind of don't work. Oh! That is not good, though. And now it'll let me play my Royal Decree. Um, Cosmo Queen is very strong. I remember Cosmo Queen. Um, <laughs> your favorite card is the Black Box. I Hey, it's, it's, it's everyone's favorite. Um, I actually do want to play my Royal Decree because I'm really afraid of that trap card that he's got might be a magic jammer or something because I'm about to do my patented change of heart strategy. It's so great every time and Cosmo Queen is such a strong card to get rid of. Amazing! Um, but ooh, there you go. Love it. Um, but yeah, Cosmo Queen was actually a McDonald's promo card, at least in the United States. Um, which was super cool. It was really strong. I remember the Cosmo Queen and the Millennium Shield were like the two big, um, promos from McDonald's. Uh, because the Cosmo Queen was really powerful, as you saw, and the Millennium Shield was... It had no attack power, but it had 3,000 defense. Um, which makes sense. It's the Millennium Shield. Um, that's probably his Sinister Serpent in defense mode, I would wager. Alright. Oh, no! Uh, that's his 1-2,000 defense monster. I really thought it was going to be the Sinister Serpent. That's really annoying. Okay, not great, not great. At least he didn't destroy our um, beautiful Dark Magician girl yet. But one nice thing here is we have Yami. And we don't really have anything to destroy this Empress Mantis, but now that Dark Magician girl gets those extra 200 attack points, we can actually destroy that card with it, even though it will destroy our Dark Magician Girl in the process. But that's okay. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make um, to get rid of that strong monster. Um, let's see here. We've got a Dark Magician, which rocks, but... But Brody, I appreciate you uh, tuning in um, for a Yu-Gi-Oh! stream, even though... <laughs> You only know the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And that's fine. Um, the Blue Eyes White Dragon is wonderful. Alright, 
This does not, this field magic card does not work synergistically with my Dark Witches, but that's all right. All right, just 200 left to deal with here. All right, let's do it. Perfect, Sinister Serpent's nothing. Clean fight, love to see it. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're looking for a couple cards. We can try to get the Mirror Force out of here, um, like we've been talking about, or we can go over to the Red Eyes pack and try to get a Maneater Bug. I think I'll go with this, because we haven't tried the Red Eyes pack tonight. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky, once again. Let's do it. It is nice, Bug, nice. Well, you made the right call, but uh, yeah, we, we didn't get it, unfortunately. It is nice to get another Giant Soldier of Stone. I might add that in. Um, let's see. I could get that in um, instead of the Mystical Elf. Let's see, actually. Ah, defense points. Because um, Mystical Elf is great, but what the Giant Soldier will do is it'll give us a little more attack power, and we have three of them on our deck now. Um, and it actually works synergistically with the, um, whatchamacallit, Giant Rats. So that's nice. That's a, a tiny little upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Um, but with that, folks... Thanks for, thanks for being here with me tonight. I really, really appreciate this. I, I love streaming the Yu-Gi-Oh! every now and then. Um, oh, you gotta go? Well, hey, great. You get some sleep, dude. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Um, uh, last things. Again, yes, thank you. Lovely. Um, hopefully next time we can get in on one of those ghouls again. I'll, I'll try to make sure we fight a ghoul next time we play this game. Um, but what else? If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. It's uh, super fun, just having uh, fun vibes with the magic of video games, I like to say. Um, but other than that, have a great week. Thanks for the millionth time. Peace out.